new curtain. Or fleece throw, whatever you want to call it. You guys like it? Because I do. I think uh, the color palette goes good with my Resurrection F poster. And I was actually going to make this intro a really long, stupid pun involving uh, Sword and Shield Rebel Clash Elite Trainer Box, but I figured since the last time I recorded a video, the fleece throw on the closet and the poster have changed, so I might as well just have the intro based around that. Alright, Elite Trainer Box opening time. Here my dumbass is opening up a Rebel Clash Elite Trainer Box, like what, six months after the damn set came out? I am very... Sorry for that. Oh. Well, shit. That sucks. This this cut off. Look at that. That sucks so much ass. I'm pissed about the. I don't. I don't give a shit. I'm not even gonna put that on anything. Player's guide. All that. You have the very nice looking Rubble Clash Elite Trainer box. This. There's. You know, you got your basic Pokemon training card game manual. You got your poison burn. Nice set of dice. Never use those. Though whatever you call this, just cardboard junk. You have your Rebel Clash uh, sleeve, uh, card protectors, card sleeves. Forgot what they were called for a second. You have the code card for it. Your energies... And the four bookmarks, or dividers, is what I like, like to call it, in case you like use these for storage like I do. They uh, divide the cards and stuff. And you have your basic eight packs. You know, no different from every other Elite Trainer box, but still. Yellow and teal green, I guess? Like, I, I, like this maybe aquamarine-ish? This looks really nice together. Like, I normally don't like yellow, and you can see that... um. Those, like, arrow-looking uh, parts on it uh, are a different, like, coat. And it makes it look really nice. I normally don't like the color yellow. It's actually my least favorite color. But this is a rare exception where I actually like yellow in something. You all know the deal? I'm just gonna shuffle them up a little bit. There we go. Give it a nice strip cut. Actually, I'll give it three strip cuts. And one more shuffle. Alright, there's that. And without further ado, let us open up the first pack. Okay, what side is this on? Let me check real quickly. Okay, code card's on that side, alright. One, two, three to the front, getting rid of the leaf energy. For the first pack, we have Pelipper. A Sonia, a Tranquil, whoops, a Hone Edge, Time Pole, or Tim Pole, whatever you want to call them, Vullaby, Galarian Corsola, uh, Cor a Toxel, most of these I have no idea, I, I didn't even know most of these Pokemon existed in this pack, a Reverse Trubbish, and on the very end, ooh, a Double V, starting off pretty good. Very nice, shiny card. That is definitely going in a Rebel Clash sleeve. Sadly, I am out of uh, hard covers, or whatever you call them, hard, uh, hard sleeves. You know, like, let me find it. Like this. I'm out of these uh, hard uh, sleeve protectors, because my Walmart does not sell them right now. I don't know why. Moving on to pack two. Oh, come on, come on. Okay. If the last pack is it sets an example for the rest of these, the code card should be... Yes, okay. I don't have to worry about revealing them because the code cards are actually like that for once. One, two, three, the front, getting rid of the electric energy. We have a tool scrapper. Hang on. Come on, camera, focus. Focus on me. There you go. Tool scrapper, Metapod, Bronzong, Hatina, Magikarp, Metatite. Stunky, Grubbin, Reverse Nugget. I actually, that's actually a nice looking card. I remember, I know what most of these Pokemon are, because that was a previous gen, like Gen 5 and backwards. I haven't played a Pokemon since X and Y. And on the very end, we have a Galarian Ren Ren I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I have not played Pokemon since the Kalos region. I've not played Omega Ruby, uh, Alpha Sapphire, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield. I have Sword. But I've not played it yet. 
Don't at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Third pack. Let's open this up. One for two. See if we can make it two for three, okay? What the fuck is this? Impidimp? This looks like... Birdo and Sableye had a kid. Hang on. Sableye, what do you have on your head? Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragons of Legend, the complete series. What is this? Filler for a potential Yu-Gi-Oh! card video in the future? <laughs> Alright, let's get the, let's get the opening these cards now. Okay, reverse the code card on the back, get rid of that. One, two, three to the front, getting rid of the fighting energy. Why did I almost say psychic? We have a Dark Loke, a Luxio, Oleana, you definitely had Luxio in your team in whenever you played Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Impidimp, uh, I still do whenever I, uh, in my streaming uh, channel with Pokemon Platinum, I still have uh, Luxray in my party. Bunnelby, Phantump, that's a nice art of Phantump too. Dreepy, Galarian, Farfetch'd, he evolves into Surfetch'd, I do believe. Uh, Galarian or not, I don't know. A reverse Dark Look, second one in this pack, and on the very end we have a Magmortar. I actually liked Magmore and did not really care for Magmortar when he was in Gen 4, I do believe. So we are what? 1 4 3 now? Not too good, but it could be worse. Opening up the fourth pack. What's that here? Okay, get rid of the code card. Alrighty, 1 2 3 to the front, getting rid of the dark energy. We have a heat more. And a camera that still will not focus. Focus, you piece of shit. There we go. Heatmore, a Karkle, a Dan, a Dan, a Wingle, a Natu, Barboach, a Squavit, an Applin, a Reverse Galeer, and Mr. Mime. That is actually a very nice art, and the reverse makes it look even better. And on the very end, ooh, a Holographic Flapple. Not a V or Secret Rare card, but I will take it over a regular card. That is what... Two for four, not too bad. Yes, I am putting the flapple in a sleeve. These cards are just going to fall off the table, and I'm getting them to where they won't. There we go. Okay. Fifth pack. We have a Monchi on the front. Go back, he won't to be Monchi. That's the kid, that's the meme the kids st still say nowadays, isn't it? Here's the code card. That's going to make this video very dated. If you want your videos to be dated, put memes in them. Let's see, uh, rid of the steel energy, we have a Chatot. Weird ass uh, noise for Pokemon 2. That was very weird in Platinum. Capture energy. Palpitoad, General or Emperor Palpitoad. Vulpix, Milsuri, Galarian Farfetch, Galarian Meowth, a Caterpie, a reverse Dublay that is also a very nice reverse card on the very end. Ooh, a Melodic V card. That is actually really pretty. I do like that. So we are three, four, five currently. Hmm, no. Moving on to pack six. Sorry, I was uh, thinking for a second on what, if I should open anything else with this, because I have a lot of shit I need to open. Where are the code card? Okay. One, two, three to the front. Getting rid of the fire energy. Uh, hey, put in chat what I should, uh, wait, this isn't a tw Twitch stream. Fuck. I'm kidding. We have a Gal uh, Galar Mine. We have a Lampent, Dra Dar Dracloak, Galarian Corsola, a Litwick, Shinx, Roly Coly, Roly Poly Oly, and Applin, a Reverse. Oh, this is actually a nice looking Pokemon. Colossal. That's a that's a pun name if I've ever heard a pun name on the very end. We have, holy shit, look at that. A Dragapult V Max. That looks beautiful. I don't know if you can guys can see that. Yeah, you can. Look at that. Look at that texture. Oh, I don't want to touch it. It feels so nice. Damn, 320 fucking HP, though. Look at that. That is insane. No wonder people are saying Pokemon cards are getting a little out of hand. 320. Like, this card right here is a Lucario Metal Metal GX Duo card, and it only has 260 health. Also, I should probably open up those tins sometime soon. But I will definitely keep these in the background because it is very nice to look at aesthetically. Because I don't want you guys to just look at a plain, boring-ass white background. Seventh pack. Let's see this. Come <clears throat> on, come on. 
Alrighty. There's really code card. Okay. One, two, three to the front. I'm still debating whether I should open something else up or not. I'm thinking about it. I think I might do something. I don't know. Uh, did I get rid of the energy? No, I did not. Water energy. Here we go. Okay, we have a skunk tank. More like spunk tank. Am I right? Uh, my fellow furry comrades. I'm sorry, I'll stop. A nugget. Bronzongler and Mr. Mime. Snover. I'm gonna wonder people on Reddit say I'm really cringy. A pit of Galarian Dar Darumaka. Uh, Hatina, I said I read that as hentai. Stupid ass mind. A digger's be reverse. On the very end, we have a sil sigilith. So that is what? Four out of seven. We could try to go for five, four, eight. But before I open up the last pack, uh, if anything, I figured it's time I show you guys some more of my card collection. Oh, here it is. Okay. I have, as I showed earlier, a Uxi level X, a Charizard G level X, and a Dialga G level 79. These are uh, older cards that I uh, have. Really, really enjoy them. Sorry, it was, if it sounded like I was, I was struggling, it's because I was trying to bend over without hitting the camera. Uh, before I open, the, open up the last pack, screw it, I'll open something else up. Let's see, let's see what I've got. So, I do have enough packs to make a Sword and Shield Rebel Clash, like, opening up 15-pack video. But, when I ordered these, I ordered five too many. So, tell you what, since it's the same set, I will open up these five Sword and Shield Rebel Clash booster packs. So, like, it was the first five that I grabbed, because I have, like, all, uh, like, uh, underneath where you guys are right now, like, right here, I think you guys have seen it, that's where I keep most of my Pokemon cards. So I can, like, easily access them if I decide to open them. We'll open up... Yeah, we'll, I'll open up five of these. And there is five. Alrighty. These five packs. Okay, I got at least one of each character on I hate it whenever I get, like, these. And there, I get, like, four of one of them. And then one of the others. I like to have all of them. You know, like, for diversity and stuff. Shuffle them. Give them a quick shuffle. Don't know why I'm shuffling these. It's just a force of habit. Okay. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these two packs right here. Those three. Okay. I will take this. Come on, bastard. Alright, there's another one. Okay, get rid of the code card. One, two, three to the front. Get rid of the water energy. Take these two cards and put them down to the side. Alright, there's the junk cards right there. Second pack. I got a question. Would you guys consider opening Pokemon cards a gambling addiction? Because I think I may have accidentally seen the back of that code card on accident. I will not reveal what it is. Steel energy. Okay, these two cards too. I feel something. I can tell you right now, I feel something on this card. Like, it is not a normal card. That is definitely something different. Okay. I thought I saw a dud pack with that, so I may actually have just... Uh, trick to myself, but yeah, would you guys consider, like, Pokemon card collecting a gambling addiction, because you're not really losing anything, because, you know, you're still getting cards, and there's always a chance you're going to get a good card, it's better than actual gambling, but if it is considered a gambling addiction, like, it's not a bad one, like, you still get what you pay for, and the odds are you may actually get more than what you paid for, so, for the 18, uh, dud cards... Enough of me talking. If a burning scark, or however many cards, I don't think it's 18. Wait, no, it, it is It is 18, never mind. Wait, no, no, no. It's 16, because, yeah. Okay, so for the 16 dud, uh, boring cards, we got a Heliolisk, a Metapod, a Galarian da da Darumaka, Dakimakora, a Vulpix, a Milsuri, a Galarian Farfetch'd, Galarian Meowth, Tool Scrapper. Those two Galarian cards really like to be next to each other. Metapod, a Bronzong, a, a Hentai, an Applin, uh, Air Ube Rakuda, Galarian Meowth, my cards are falling over, and a Surskit. And time for the part, oh, that I have been waiting for for about 45 seconds before I pick up these damn cards. Oh, what, I, English, Jackson, okay, I'll say that again. Time for the part I have been waiting for for about 45 seconds, but first I have to open up, or well, I... I don't know what is wrong with my mouth, not wanting to say what my brain is thinking. I had to pick up these 18, 16 bad, stupid cards. Okay, I got it out of the way. 
All right, let's check these cards now, okay? We have a Reverse Corsola. Oh, a Cinderance V Max. That looks really fucking nice. Oh, even though I don't, like, I, Cosmic Eclipse would always be my favorite card set. Because, like, you know, the reverses, there's a chance you'll get, actually get a different card. But these newer cards, the textures on them are so damn good. That is a sleeve for the Cinderance. We have a reverse hentai. That looks nice. And what I've been waiting for on the very end, we have an Inteleon VMAX. Holy shit. I have two of the three starters now. Oh my god, that is awesome. Back to fucking back, too. That is amazing. I would put you guys in hardcovers, but I cannot find any anywhere in my local town. I'm very sorry. I'd order them online, but... Due to the, uh, whole pandemic thing, that'll also make this video dated, uh, Amazon was really bad at delivering their packages right now. Like, my cousin or got a, uh, package sent to her as a birthday gift, and Amazon lost it twice. That is why I don't order from Amazon very much right now. The only thing I ordered was from, uh, was parts for my Halloween costume in the last video, and even then... Like, I could stick my hand in the package and, like, take something out if I wanted to. And the gloves were not even in the fucking package. I had to contact Amazon customer support and tell them, Hey, I didn't get a damn set of gloves when I paid for it. So they had to send me a set of gloves three days later in the mail. Uh, hopefully I'll get a Haraboom. Whatever his name is. This guy. I think it's Haraboom. Harleboom, you know what I mean. Okay, we'll open up the Harleboom pack, too. So in total, I'll be opening up 13 packs of cards. Okay, get rid of the code card. Hopefully that won't, th those two are not like, weren't the only two good ones out of like, you know, the whole 15 fucking packs I have. Hopefully that isn't the, that can't be, hopefully that, you, you know what I mean, hopefully, what is up with my English today? Hopefully, I have a stuttering problem in case you can't tell. Hopefully, it doesn't take away from like, the number of good cards I get out of those 15 packs. I hope like these weren't like half the good cards in the entire like 20 fucking packs. That'd be a real shame if it was. Okay. We have a speed lightning energy, something I have not seen. A Pelipper, a Pokeball, a Voltorb, a Growlithe. What are the odds you get a Pokeball and a Voltorb right back to back? They look exactly like each other. A Dreepy, a Snover, a B Binacle, a Reverse Pokeball. Three Pokeball looking asses in this pack. And on the very end, we have a Wishcash. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Still, I for, for the first two, getting these two was really nice. They look very beautiful. Okay, we're opening up the Cinderance pack. Here we go. This DVNR OC soccer player looking ass. I don't care. To me, he's the least like bad looking of the three. I did not like Inteleon or, or Harleboom. I didn't like the two. Okay, get rid of the code card. All right. One, two, three to the front, getting rid the dark energy. We have a nugget, a camera that won't fucking focus. Nugget, Masquire, Masqu Masquirin, Mosquito, a Phalanx, Phalan Phalanx, uh, freaking battle formation in the medieval times, a Wingull, Barboach, a Natu, Squovit, an Apple, a reverse Snorlax has a very nice artwork and on the very end. A Garbodor. Garbodor is definitely one of my least favorite Pokemon. I do not like him at all. There are those. And finally, the fifth pack from the five Rebel Clash extra packs that I bought too many of. Mm. I was wondering what I was going to do with those. I'm glad, like, instead of just do, going out of the usual and just doing a 20, I decided, I'm glad I decided to do this. That way I can keep to the standard 15 packs. That way, like, people don't recommend, oh, get a whole booster box, and it's, like, 90 fucking dollars. Okay, we have a Heatmore, a Horror, getting rid of the Steel Energy, have a Horror, Psychic Energy, a Tranquil, time, Temple, Trubbish, Helioptile, a Hone Edge, a Litwick, a Reverse Farfetch, and on the very end, a Galarian Darmantian. So, uh, we got two good cards out of those five, which is not bad. Right now, we are currently what? Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, twelve, which is 50%. I'll take that over nothing. And we finally have the last pack 
with cinderance on the very end. Ugh. God, some of these fuckers are hard to open, I swear to God. They really don't want you to open this up in Walmart. I mean, you have to go through all that first before you open this pack up, but you know, you, you get what I mean. Whoops. Okay. We have a one, two, three to the front. And give her the psychic energy for the final pack. We have a burning scarf. We have a burning scarf camera. Thank you. Metapod. A charge bug. That's a box looking fucking Pokemon. A Surskit. Magikarp. Metatite. Milsuri. Growlit. A reverse capture energy. I hope this is at least a good card. If anything, a Harlequin V Max. I would shit my pants. On the very end, we have a Ludicolo. Damn. Well, 6 and 13, I don't consider as too bad. So, you know, it's... We still got some good cards. I mean, V-Maxes are nothing to, like, throw down. These are these are probably worth... Especially in Inteleon, because in Inteleon is the most liked one of the 8th generation. This is probably worth a good amount. I don't know, because I check the prices post-edit. But, yeah. 6 out of 13, I definitely would not... Look down upon that. That is not bad at all. So right now, you are all probably expecting, all right, what's he going to get in the crane machine today? However, that is going to have to wait for a video because I have something very special to show you guys for the next video I'm doing. It's It never fails. There's always a fucking train passing in every one of these videos. It never fucking fails. So, in the next video, the special item I have to open up, it was a Christmas gift given to me early by a relative. It is a Jirachi G... Oh, shit. <laughs> Jirachi GX collection box. It is so big, I moved the camera out like eight inches and it still does not fit in the entire frame. Like, look at this thing. This thing is huge. It is almost as long as the damn mouse pad. That I got in the, um, Breaks It and Charizard G uh, Tag Team Generations collection box. Like, that is how big this thing is. I measured it as 23 inches long. This is definitely going to be a special video. So, hopefully, I get some good cards out of it. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, take care, and have a good one. You guys want to see a magic trick of Pokemon cards before the video ends? I know you do. Check this out. You see this dark energy right here? Alright, look at this. Look at this. Flip that over. Look at that. Oh, it's a leaf energy! Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking stupid.